Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Arsenic Candy Gaming. And welcome back to the Caves of Kud. Uh, we've done a little bit of running about a couple of places since the last episode, um, selling some goods, buying some goods, trading some goods, stealing some stuff. Um, we did go to have a look at... Um, Bear with me a second because my brain is made out of jam and cheese. Eckhar Waterworks. Went to Eckhar Waterworks. Walked into a uh, clam which fired us all the way over to the um, Palladium Reef, I think. To Lake Hinnom. Then we teleported back. Then we did it again and it teleported us into the Palladium Reef. Then we teleported back. It was a whole, whole show. Um, but not really anything exciting. It was literally just teleporting there teleporting out and it took a long time because i was stressing about it but nothing exciting happened that was worth witnessing so um we came to the stilt and we've done our usual route round and stolen everything that we can get our hands on from the locals um We've acquired a bunch of uh, spring-loaded items, which we can trade in with the Betel, which we're going to go and do in a moment. Um, Slog here has got a significant amount of shit that he's carrying around, including an agate goat herder figurine. I believe that the Snapjaw is carrying a Snapjaw figurine as well, so we're going to hand those over to uh, Haramut because he needs them. Yeah, we are going to keep hold of that. We're going to pass that over. We might even see if we can make that. Um, I'm not sure if we can mod it, but I'm going to give it a go. I can't. Even if it rusts, I'm sure it will still give us plus 60 reputation with snap jaws. Anyway, the main reason we uh, arrive at this point is because on our journey around the stilt, we managed to obtain two, that's right, two, drams of cloning draft now i've never used a cloning draft but i have a fun plan um i'm aware that one of the um many things you can do you can clone yourself which if i was a stronger character if i was more physical i would definitely clone myself and we'd have two badass haramuts running around unfortunately all my skills are very like active psychic abilities i don't know how much use that will be to have a second version of me but what we can do is we can use one of them to clone the ichor merchant the person that we stole the cloning draft off of uh we can pour it nearby boop just one dram pour a dram of cloning draft out A grotesque protuberance swells from the Ichor merchant's back as he begins to bud. Now, if we hang about, we will see we have just produced a second Ichor merchant. He currently has nothing to trade, um, but given time, he will also start to spawn... Ooh, a file of sunslag. I don't even know what that is, um, but I'm certainly going to find out so let's drop that on the floor we're gonna drop the uh, desalination pellets as well that's molten wax don't need any of that sun slag i'm gonna drop because i don't know what it is so we will uh we will explore that and find out what it does some wine i don't need wine uh end that domination there Pick up the desalination and the sun slag. Let's have a quick look at that and see what it is. Uh, what effects does it have? It does not tell us. Oh. Never mind. I'll have to um, either experiment or not risk that one. Uh, the other thing that we can do, which I think I'm going to do, is I think we're going to clone Slog here of the Cloaca. He's a very strong follower. He has a lot of ability. He has a lot of strength, etc. Um, it might be a terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible plan. Oh, but I can't help do it. I can't help but do it. We're going to pour... 
the cloning draft onto Slog of the Golgotha. A protuberance, a grotesque protuberance swells from bloody Slog of the Cloaca's back as it begins to bud. And there we have a second Slog of the Cloaca, the clone of Slog of the Cloaca. Can we talk to him? Chat. He can be traded with... He can be traded with. That's about it, though. Yeah, we can't perform the water ritual with the clone, which is a shame. It would have been nice to have had a mollusk on our side. A second mollusk, so we could play them off against each other. But there you go. We've got a couple of badass, very heavy-duty followers now who are almost certainly going to rinse every opponent that we come across. I'm certain of it. I'm certain of it. I hope he's actually our follower now. I don't know how that works. I don't know if he's immediately, effectively our follower. Let's check if his abilities are assigned, because he should be the same level. He is. He is the same level. Marvellous. We've got two slogs. We've got a couple of slogs following us around. So, we also picked up a few um, pieces of information on our way. Some gossip and lore from various um, painted items that we found. I don't think it's any, uh, really worth worrying about at the moment. But we will go now to um, find the Beetle and give him our six spring-loaded items and see what we get from it. I imagine it's going to be really disappointing. Um, I don't think I've ever completed a, a Beetle quest, or request, I'll say. Um, so we need to go down to uh, Gritgate, don't we? in order to complete this. Hopefully we won't get lost on the way. Doesn't seem like it'd be a big problem, but you know, I'd, I'd rather not be lost. Let's go down the stairs. I'm, I'm loath to say it because every time I do, um, something terribly, terribly awful goes wrong. Um, what can we get here? An iron buckler. We will equip that where our wooden buckler is. Job done. Can we drop the other buckler, please? And be down with the armor if uh, you don't know where to find it. Drop. Thank you. That's a dead robot. Let's go down again. Where's the Beetle? Ah, he's over here. And he would like us to place six spring-loaded items before him. How many have we got on us? One, two... I bet I left the others at Jopper, didn't I? What have you got? Nothing. If we could get our mate Slog over here. Which one's this? Not not the clone, so that's good. Bugger. <laughs> we don't have them all. Oh, I thought we did. I, th I genuinely thought we had everything we needed then. Are you sure you don't have some on you, mate? Because I, th I genuinely, I thought that we had a thing going on here. Never mind. Um, let's drop those. Drop those. Drop those. Is that? It... Drop those. He wants six spring loaded. One, two, three, four. That's not enough. Shame. Um, we'll have to come back another time when we find out where the rest of them are. I'm pretty. I'm almost certain that we had more than that, but obviously not. Obviously not. We also picked up a jewel encrusted light rail, which is some form of uh, laser rifle. Uh, we've messed about a little bit with our um, jewel encrusted die thermo beam, which we're going to equip now. The die thermo beam, for anybody who doesn't know, um, oh, let's re recharge our chem sale. Oh, we've got some shit we, we need to break down then, I guess, because... Hmm. 
Let's break that down. <clears throat> do 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 do. Rem remove. Thank you. Remove is what I said. We don't have any A bits. Okay, that's what we need. So the dithermo um, beam is a two temperature laser beam. It has a freeze beam and it has a thermo blow them up beam, which is bloody marvelous. Um, I mean, it's a little bit disappointing that we didn't manage to find uh, six spring loaded items, but I don't think it'll take us too long to find more. Um, so we also have a couple of other items that we can find recover digital actus equins woe at computerized wreck and the horror historical relic cursed rapture frogs woe at the fateful void and recover it they both sound like incredibly dangerous places i'm sure we'll find them eventually But not today. Okay then, I guess the only thing left for us to do is to travel to the Mechanimus compound at Bethesda Sousa, which is almost certainly going to get us killed. And here we are at uh, Bethesda Sousa. I, can't, I don't know why I can never remember the name of Beth Bethesda Sousa. Um... Let's cook from a recipe. So we ran down into... Uh, we ran back down into Gritgate. Um, and went into... Um, Barathrum. To um, check if they had any spring-loaded stuff. They didn't. We did pick up some other junk, though, while we were there. Which I can't remember what it was. I... Some junk. We picked up some junk while we were down there. Um, oh, a floating glow sphere. That's what it was. Picked up a glo floating glow sphere. All good. Now we've got two hands with weapons in them. We're good to bounce. So let's cook ourselves up a meal from a recipe. I can't remember if I just did, but we'll do it again anyway. We'll go for um, max HP. Job done. Right, what have we got going on now? some stuff let's use our stunning force immediately to take out this crag mensch i don't know if it's worked it doesn't seem to have hopefully our buddies can defend us here um we've got our dithermo beam oh the cell is drained so let's replace that quickly um what are you doing you seem to be attack attack this guy you direct to attack him how about you you've dominated oh god it ain't working go away sir we we'll use our me uh, menacing stare upon him and scare him away. Are you being hostile? No, you're doing all right at the moment, aren't you, friendly boy? He's engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat with a bear. I'm very aware that we're very squishy. I think it's, it's probably time to give up the the ghost and uh, and start investing in some some stronger armor than we're currently equipped with because we're not doing well. If we had the capacity for picking up a random physical mutation, I, I right now, I definitely would take one. Um, don't lob fucking boulders at me, you turd. Do we have... We don't have a thrown weapon. Do we have anything we can throw that would be useful against this guy? A sower's seed. Let's see if it works. Boom. Did it hurt you? Not really. He's dead. He's dead. They're all dead. 
how about you are you doing all right you're injured boys let's get over here let's rest up a minute let's uh make sure that everyone's good to go what on earth are you doing a cyberneticist he's all right he's being friendly no problem do we have the capacity for leveling anybody up at the moment we have attribute points that we can spend i thought we spent our attribute points maybe not let's spend our attribute points that puts us up to agility 17 but technically it's only 16 because it's modified to 17. we'll take that we have some mutation points which we could affect our skills with we do have skill points do we spend it on some stuff? Trash divining. That gives us some clues. Learns random secrets. Not sure how useful that is for us right now. Our words embolden our companions. Hopefully we can get up to that soon. We don't have the capacity for unlocking any short blade skills. No, I think we're okay at the moment then, aren't we? Yeah. How about we look and see if we can dominate our pal here? Do you have any skills, points, mutation points or otherwise that you can spend? Hmm... We could go for your mutation point, or we can just level you up. We only need 2,000 to level you up to the next level. How about your skills? 124 for skills. And you're cudgely, aren't you? Cudgely bear. No problem. Let's rest up and... Uh, check out all of our companions. Are you able to level anything up? Not currently. You do have skill points. Nothing to spend them on, though. And uh, the clone of the cloaca will be the same. I think maybe we just... Uh, we, we should probably clear out the top of here before we venture further down. I hope that you're not going to get yourself injured. I'm going to ask you to step... Am I? Are you stunned? You're injured? You're injured? You're not injured. Okay, they're they're going out all, quite easily. I don't I don't want anybody to uh, be putting themselves at risk here unnecessarily. Oh, okay. It looks like so. Our dithermo beam uh, is a freeze and heat ray. If we. Oh, I'm moving around and looking at the wrong character. It looks like if we freeze out of the front, uh, sorry, if we shoot fire out the front, then the freeze ray comes out the back. So if we get ourselves surrounded, we can potentially kill multiple hostiles with it. Marvelous. I didn't even contemplate that possibility. I certainly will now. Give me all your slugs. I'd like you to be my friend. Is there any way that that happens? No. Okay, never mind. I like mysterious gunstingers. I like mysterious anybody. 4,000 drams of salty water. Mate, you're, uh, you're annoying me a little bit. The Cragmench Bellends. The Blue Gels are friendly. That's all right then, isn't it? What about you? Are you friendly? No, you're very much not. Am I bleeding? No. Oh, go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Something terrible is happening here. Bloody wet lurking baths. Go away. Lurking baths. I think I just hit myself with a... Uh... 
a sower's seed. Yeah, it's time to run away. Heal up. Heal up, everybody. Heal up. The times they are good. Oops, we got teleported. Not entirely sure what by, but we definitely got teleported by something. Warped the heckins out of there. Hello, jelly boy. Some silver nugget. A desert rifle. We're going to disassemble that. And we're going to disassemble this. Hopefully. There's nout outs to be concerned about at the moment. I am very concerned about uh, wet witch wood bark. The trolls that we're likely to encounter any second. I mean, uh, Jotun who parts limbs, he does part limbs and he parts them well with very minimal effort. Um, so, I mean, we're a sitting duck. We walk down there. We're likely to get immediately eradicated. Um, fresh chem cell. This could be the end of the run. It could could well be the end of the run. It's not what I want to happen. It could well be the end of the run. We did pick up a light... Jewel-encrusted light rail. Accuracy very high. 30... Do you know what? Let's equip that. Let's equip that. Um, I'm going to risk it. Ooh, I'm going to risk it. There he is. He's very tough. Wow. <laughs> that didn't take very much at all. My goodness. Wow. Wow. All it took was uh, having a couple of slogs with me and everything was fine. Um... Okay, what did we pick up then? We picked up his giant frigging axe. I mean, it would have been nice to have had him on our, our side, but this is just as good. A giant carbide battle axe. Is that a cudgel? It, it, no, it's an axe. It was a stupid question. It was an absolutely stupid question. Of course it's an axe. Are we over capacity? Not currently. Simple cold based or simple regeneration and healing base effects to cooked meals. Is there anything else to be explored down here? I don't know that I need to carry around throwing axes with me. Um, I do like carrying them around and throwing them regularly. They're, f they're fairly good damage as well, so... They're fairly good damage. We're going to take them. We might not make it down a second floor, but <laughs> therein is the risk that we take. Do we use our mutation points to level something up? It's very difficult to make this decision. No, we just go. We just go. We risk it. We look to see if we can spot any trolls. Oh, boys and girls. Boys and girls. I am a scared, scared candy here. I think we run for a moment. Maybe some stunning force. 
Did it work? It doesn't seem to have. Ooh. <sighs> oh. Our reputation with antelopes went up and pariahs. The villagers of Dermod, not a big fan. Dumrod, not a big fan. A salty, bloody silver key. I've never had an easier time getting through um, Bethesda Sousa. Let's run away from this dude. I'm glad that I didn't get close enough to put my ass at risk, at least. That's that's a bonus. So, we'll go for the max HP again. This is hella risky now. I mean, we've... we've um, what's your charge like? Let's replace the cell for the full cell. Um, we'll quickly, if we can, charge that. Can we recharge that? There we go. We've got a spare chem cell just in case. Now, our next enemy, to my knowledge, is entirely invisible. And I don't know how to make them not invisible for the purposes of us destroying them. I can't remember how we defeated them on the last go-round. Okay, after much uh, consideration, I'm not really sure how to proceed. So I'm currently not going to proceed. I've been Arctic Candy Gaming. You've been bloody marvellous as always. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all that other wonderful stuff. Now, I am going to take some time to debate how I deal with the next troll. I'm torn between making f friends with one of the people that are following me, such as this Snapjaw, somehow so that I can pr maybe proselytize the troll. I don't know how well that's going to go. Probably not very well. Um, but that will be something for the next episode of The Caves of Could. You take care now. Bye-bye.